Hello guys, welcome to my tutorial. Today we're going to put Hex into Robot Destructor that is a game on Scratch. Uh, the client that we're using today is mClient and we go. So basically you have to first download the folder in the description of this video. Uh, that is in uh, Google Drive link. Next, you will have to uh, copy the JavaScript code on the description. And next, you will go to Robot Destructor on Scratch. Uh, you will you will click on F12, the the key on the keyboard. And it will open this this page. So you have to click on console next and put this command over here, allow pasting. You have to make it like this, allow pasting. It will give an error but don't care because it's an insignificant error. And next, you will copy here all the code in the all the code in the description of the video that you copied uh, before. So you copy it and I will copy it. I have it here, I think. Yes, I have it here. Uh, I have it here, but you will have it on the description of the video. You copy, you paste, and if it puts here project hacked successfully, is that you made it correctly. So uh, close this page and go to C inside because if you click on remix you have to make it all again so click on see inside now on the editor uh, you have to delete all the objects but blank you don't have to delete blank because i don't know because it's the steps that we have to follow and that's all I don't I didn't make the <laughs> the client, you know. So basically we delete all uh delete delete oh and delete. So when you have delete all the game will put black obviously because there isn't any any anything here so now you will have to import uh, the end client the end client uh, open all these things the this is the folder in the description of the video so you import it here and wait until it's imported. Oh. Now that we have all, we are all set up. So uh, if you have some problems while making the the installation of the of the hack of the client, uh, you can you can see uh, there there is a troubleshooting page on the on the client, and uh, there is a web page on of the client. Uh, 
and there you can find some information, documentation, you know, all these boring things, but it can be it can be good for you for for seeing and for fixing all things. So uh, another thing uh, every time you you want to play you have to make these steps for for putting the client and if you don't do this the uh, the game is going to be normally so you have to put the client uh, another time so that's all thank you for seeing the video uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of videos and that's all thank you very much ciao ciao